friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video and welcome back to my library organization video. I am filming this in a weird location because the library is already set up and done. However, I didn't like the intro that I had filmed originally, so I wanted to give you guys a better, more coherent introduction that makes a little bit more sense. So basically, you're going to see this library come into fruition from start to finish, all the way from building my desk to building the bookshelves to putting the books on the shelves, as well as the little trinkets and things like that that go on my shelf as well. So I'm hoping that you will enjoy this video. It's probably going to be long. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know for sure, but it's probably going to be long. Um, but hopefully you find this entertaining fun, somewhat um, satisfying to watch this library come together. I personally love it so much. It brings me so much joy every time I step in here. Um, it's definitely one of my lifelong dreams come true to have my own library and it is literally one of the best things I've ever done. It was a pain. It was a hassle. It took a long time. I was in here for days trying to get this right, um, but I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you uh, we're inspired by some portion of this today. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. Let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go It only took me 30 minutes, but I did <laughs> So, for future reference, um, if you're ever building an Ikea anything uh, I recommend not using a knife as a screwdriver. <laughs> I didn't have a screwdriver, <laughs> so I may do. Um, I'm going to have to come in and tighten all these bolts or screws <laughs> screws with a screwdriver because uh, they're all a little wobbly. But I got it up. It's standing. It's cute. She's, she's cute. Um, and it's exactly the size that I wanted, exactly what I was looking for. So it was perfect. But um, use an actual screwdriver. PSA. <laughs> Calling sick in the morning, baby, don't leave. They don't need to know we're out here, wild and free. They say we're crazy, it's too much. Deep in love. Oh. oh, this is everything with you right next to me. So alive. Let's have a conversation while we do uh, these here. When I tell you that from the bottom of my heart, I never want to build one of these again, I mean it. I have three more that I still need to build. No ma'am. No ma'am. I'm about to make my husband do these. This is the worst bookshelf I've ever built in my entire life. Actually terrible. I don't know who designed this, but <clears throat> never again. Okay, I am not even kidding. That was literally one of the hardest things I've ever built. I don't know if you can see like how bright red my fingers are from that Allen wrench. Oh my god. So I'm not done with the shelf. I still have to put the, uh, the backings on there, but I have to do that with a hammer and it is currently 11, 12 at night. So I'm not going to disturb my neighbors or my husband by hammering things in the walls. However, I am really glad that I built it though because I had to rearrange the room based off of what we have here. So this, the Walmart shelves, um, are like a smidgen wider and a smidgen taller than the Target ones, but both the Target and the Walmart shelves have fixed shelves, which means that these ones don't move. They stay as is, but they don't match up. So my OCD was like, no way, they cannot be next to each other. And I had always planned on having two bookshelves over there on that wall. So I put the two 
Target ones on this side. There's one Ikea one over here, and then I'll have five Walmart ones on this side instead of mix and match because they don't match. So that's kind of where we're going at now. I just moved the other Target ones on that wall. And then once I'm done with this one, this one will go up on the wall over there. But oh my God, my hands hurt so bad. My fingers are like dying and they're Poor little baby fingers are hurting. But um there's that. I don't <laughs> I don't really know how long this is gonna take me because I kid you not, that shelf still not done. Took me an hour and a half. These target ones took me 15 minutes. I don't know why they made it so complicated for that dang shelf, but oh my gosh. So I'm not looking to looking I'm not looking forward to building five more of those, but no oh, four more, four more. But still for too many. <laughs> my fingers hurt. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm gonna ask my husband to help me because that was torturous. Torturous. And I'm only gonna put you through the torture of watching me do it one time, so you're welcome. <laughs> it makes me so happy to see books on shelves again. These are my TBR books that I still need to read, the TBR books that I have already read and I'm currently reading, and these are the books that I've hauled this month. And then as you can see, I have all of these owl crate boxes up here that I've been sent recently that I have not had a chance to open up on camera, so those are being saved for a video. I have a fairy loot box coming soon, two fairy loot boxes coming soon, and then a Luma Crate box coming soon. So I might just wait for all those to pile up before I open those boxes, but we shall see. I don't This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go. This is everything with you right next to me. That's it. I've done it. The last shelf. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> process I'm out of breath Whew. but basically I noticed that I had a little extra room over on that side I still do I have a little bit of extra room so I moved these two shelves over but the boxes are in the way so I am gonna move the rest of these shelves over just so that one's not like sitting right on the wall that last one but now I'm gonna sit down and start organizing my books into colors because I'm gonna do a rainbow shelf on this wall I think the two shelves back here are going to be like a black and white shelf depending on how many books I have. And then that there is going to be a Saturday Mass shelf, which I'm so excited. I cannot wait for that. So I'm gonna open up these books, boxes, start breaking them down, getting them in a color order. I still have my like uh, temporary shelves going on right here. So I'll get those ones intermixed as well. And I'll bring you along for the ride. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done tonight because it's already 8.30 and I'm gonna spend some time with my husband. I need to take a shower, I need to do laundry. I have a lot of stuff to do, but I wanna get started on getting this, this somewhat organized that tomorrow, after I get back from dropping off my sibling at her partner's house, um, then I can finish the rest of this and then I can film on Saturday and get most of the filming done because I have a ton of stuff to film. So that's my thought process. I will take you along for the ride. I hope that you enjoy, are enjoying, um, and let's do this. Are y'all ready to see the chaos that is the books fully unpacked? There's all the boxes. This is the book mess. Holy shit. <laughs> all of these up here are like black, gray, and white books. We have more black books all through there. Some gray books, some more white books there. I think there's some more white books over there. <laughs> I don't know if they're all gonna fit on the two shelves that I wanted them on. I think I just have way too many black, white, and gray books, but we will try our best and see what happens, but we're gonna get started on putting these up on the shelf. 
hopefully I can get this done somewhat tonight and then I don't know I'm gonna probably try to just put the colors up on the shelves tonight and then um I will get uh the organization like the color like radiance right tomorrow but this is what the empty shelves look like right now and we're about to get into the actual organization It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Good man inside did everything that you thought you should. Didn't seem to do you any good. Okay, I am torn. I don't really know what I want to do, but that is what the shelf, these shelves are looking like. Very bright, very colorful. I like it. It's just the problem is I have a ton of black books. As you can see, that's this entire shelf. It's all black and gray books. And I was able to fit my entire collection of black and gray books on that shelf. I just don't really know if that's what I want to do. If I want to mix the black books in there, I know that it'll take up the rest of that shelf and I'll have no like wiggle room which the whole point of these new shelves is to have more space. However, I don't really know what I want to do. Hmm. I could take off half of these black books, filter in the white and gray books to make it look a little less dark, and then put what's remaining at the top of the shelves. And then I could, you know, like reorganize my rainbow shelves, spread things out, do some outward facing books. Um, that way it has a little bit more pizzazz to it because right now it's very flat and <clears throat> I don't really love that um so I don't really know what I want to do I feel very torn there's a lot that I could do I just don't know what I'm leaning towards so I might try the half black half white and gray situation and see how that looks and then kind of go from there so I'll keep you updated I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> but I'm kind of stressed about it so <laughs> I'll let you guys know what I decide okay this is where we're at I still have all of these white books and a, a few gray books in there that still need to find a home this is what the shelf is looking like it's kind of giving me a headache i don't really know if i like it or if i hate it so we have black and white staggered on the first three shelves and then this is black and white and a little bit of gray and this is black and gray staggered and then we have black all the way up the top and it's just such a stark contrast to this like this is so bright and colorful and pretty but like because the bookshelves are so separated i don't know how to make them look cohesive rainbow has always been my thing so i don't really know like what i'm doing like i have a few books that are need to go in their colored sections that i'm going to reorganize once i do the actual proper organization but i just wanted to get the books up on the shelf but i literally have no idea what i'm doing i'm liking the way the rainbow bookshelves look i think they look fantastic obviously i want to do a little bit more judging uh, make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing if i can do so um i still have like a whole row down here at the bottom that i don't even know what i'm gonna do with at the moment so i don't know i don't know i feel very lost and afraid <laughs> and i don't know what to do hi friends i just wanted to come on here and give you an update on where i'm going what i'm doing where i'm at with this whole library process um, first of all, let me, this is like really high up, but let me show up my pin. My sibling got this for me. It says, uh, best ally. So my sibling is, uh, non-binary and agender. And so they got me these really cute pins. Well, all of us in our family got them and I think they're so cute. Uh, their partner actually made them. So I think they're adorable. Super excited. Um, just wanted to show that off in case you guys were wondering what it is. I'm very proud. <laughs> Anyways, um, what I was saying was, <clears throat> I put my TBR books on the shelf. That way I didn't have to worry about making sure that they fit. 
I did um, some Alcrate unboxings and an Illumicrate unboxing, which those ones are kind of on the shelf. I have a few there, one up there. I have a book that I need to move from over there. And I was talking with my sibling about this shelf because I am not happy with it. I don't like it. I don't think that it is my vibe. I'm not a fan. So they were talking about different ways that I can organize the black and white shelves to make it look a little less chaotic. So I'm gonna try a different way and see if I like it. And I'll bring you along with the, for the process. And then I'm gonna actually like reorganize the rainbow, which is not really a rainbow. My sibling was like, it's not a rainbow. And I was like, I know, but it's my rainbow, so it's fine. Um, then I'll reorganize the rainbow shelves and get like all of the, the tones together and put them in the right order. And then hopefully we'll be done. I want to like zhuzh it up, put my book stuff out on it. We got a lot to go. I feel like this process is taking forever, but I'm ready. How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up, just hold on tight. It'll be alright. Hey friends, it is finally that time after almost a week and a half of putting this library together. It is finally time for me to do the big reveal. Are you ready? Are you excited? Are you as excited as I am? Because this library brings me so much joy and happiness and I'm just so blessed and honored to be able to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's take a look at the finished library. Hear the cricket, see the moon. Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright
of the bookshelves and as I said before I'm so blessed and happy and excited to have a space of my own where I can display all my books come into a space where I feel like I can just be myself and read and look at all of these wonderful wonderful books I'm so glad that I was able to bring you guys along on the journey to build this library with me I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that it was somewhat entertaining and satisfying for you I personally love bookshelf reorganization videos so I hope that you enjoyed being along the journey with me let me know down below if you have any recommendations for how you think I can make my library better I do have some more plans for my desk and a reading chair and all those things but that will come in due time I don't really have the funds to spend on those things at the moment so that'll so that'll be something that you will have to stay tuned in regards to my vlogs but I am very excited to share this with you I really hope that you enjoyed it I definitely put a lot of hard work blood sweat and tears literally blood <laughs> into building this library these bookshelves were a pain but I am beyond blessed and I'm just so grateful to have a space like this that I can call my own so let me know what you guys think down below if you made it to, to the end of this video leave a dagger emoji i'm looking at a lot of daggers on my pins and on my blanket so leave a dagger or a sword emoji letting me know that you killed it and made it all the way to the end of this video uh i love you guys so much thank you so much for being patient with me coming along my journey with me and uh just being so awesome and amazing i love you all so much that is the end of this video though i really hope that you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and of course leave any comments questions and suggestions in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video bye Ask baby, turn it down like a sweet melody. Pour us up, keep it nice and steady.